Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So last night we got this thing on the road. It was running, finally. I'm so thankful this is actually working and I can consider it a driver. But unfortunately, today I went to go bleed the coolant system and check this out guys. Yep, you guessed it. Strip bleeder valve. So this thing is shot. It's supposed to be an eight millimeter, but as you can see, the eight millimeter is completely rounded off. So rather than drilling this out and causing myself a bigger headache, I have the perfect solution for this, and it is a Martin built solution. All right, here we go. This is the Martin built solution. So all the credit goes to Martin. He did this on his channel. Go check it out. It is Martin built. He is a 4.7 genius. So here we go. This is what he did on his. He got a 40 millimeter hose adapter. Now this is to add like a temperature sensor if you want. It comes threaded for sensors, but we will not be using a temperature sensor. Nope. Instead, we will be threading in this fitting with this cap. This will be our new bleeder. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drill it out with this 37 64th drill bit, and we got a 3 8 tap. So we'll be able to thread in the fitting and then cap it off, and that will be our bleeder. So thank you, Martin. Let's get this ready. All right, here is our fitting. This should work perfectly in the midst of our upper radiator hose. We'll find a place for that later. But I'm just gonna take out this little screw. We won't need that. I'm guessing that's for a ground, whatever. And here we go. I'll put this in the vise. All right, so I took my bit out of the sleeve. I quickly realized that with my XY vise attached to my drill press, the drill press shaft is not long enough to accommodate this big old bit. So I'm gonna have to resort to the vise. There we go. All right, this hole came out very nice. I'm just gonna lube this up with some more three-in-one cutting oil. And I got my brand new tap, and it's on a 5 8 bit. Fits in pretty nice, it's actually 12 point. And um, there we go, here's like my sliding socket. This will give me good torque for the cutting of the threads. All right, here we go. And this is a tapered bit, guys, so the deeper you go, the deeper your fitting will fit. All right, I'm almost all the way down. I'm just gonna back this out and I'm gonna check the fitment. See if, uh, see if it'll sit flush at this depth. At this depth of tapping, I suppose. <laughs> all right. There we go. Hey, check out those threads. They're looking really good. All right, so here we go. The 3 8 tapered thread. Let's see, oh, this is nice. This thread's on very nice. Yeah, pretty good. All right, let's see how deep this sits. All right, here we go. Now our fitting is almost threaded all the way in, and you can see it's starting to protrude from the top of this piece right here. So according to Martin, this could actually trap some air, and we do not want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind down the bottom of this fitting so it fits flush in here. Not a bad cut. Just going to clean up these threads a little bit, brush them down. Oof, she's still hot. Nice. And yes, Martin, I agree with you. I think it's an excellent idea to eliminate any possibilities of air bubbles sticking in here. So, just beveling out this edge a little bit. All right. Clean up any aluminum shavings. Cool. And I'm just gonna deburr the inside of this hole. Make sure there's nothing protruding out the bottom. Again, don't want any air 
that get caught in here. There we go. Looking nice and smooth. Cool. All right, just gonna clean out these threads one more time. Nice. I'm gonna use a little bit of Teflon tape. Probably don't need it because these threads are so new and so clean, but hey, why not, right? So let's see, if this is threading in this way, we're gonna have the tape wrapping this way because you don't want the Teflon tape to unroll while you're tightening it in. So yes, direction matters with Teflon tape. All right, let's mate these two pieces. Very nice, very nice. All right, this thing's on real good. Cool. Beautiful. All right, just gotta pick a spot on this hose to cut in. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter, slide some fresh hose down at the end, and then uh, make up the difference cutting up here and see where this needs to slide in. I'm cutting right about here-ish. I think I need sharper scissors. What do you think, guys? Ugh. All right, last piece of the puzzle is the cap and O-ring. So, just gonna stuff our O-ring down in this cap. Pretty sure it goes in the cap. Right? Why else would they include the cap and the O-ring together? <laughs> there we go, it does fit. It seats nice and deep in there. All right, and just screw it on. There we go. That's that. We got our new bleeder set up. Sweet. All right, guys, that is that. Check this out. I am really happy with this. Martin, you're a genius. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look how much higher this sits above this. We are getting so much more air out when the bleeder is extended upward. So this is fantastic. I'm so excited. I got my bleeder system and uh, forget this stock thing. That's awful. That strips. This will never strip because we could get a good, a good bite on this hex head and you don't even need a lot of torque to tighten this down so this is great all we got to do is bleed the system all right guys so since i've been so blessed to have all the knowledge i could ever want to know about this 4.7 from my buddy martin at martin belt and my buddy doug from dna in the garage i'll let you have doug teach you how to bleed this thing he is a master at bleeding the 4.7 so i'll throw a link in the description to doug's video doug's many videos and also i'll throw a link to all the Amazon affiliate parts that I use. I'm gonna copy and paste for you Martin everyone that clicks on the links to my videos and Martin will get a little cut So this is the Martin built bleeder fix for the 4.7. Thank you so much Martin Thanks Doug for all your tips Martin for your tips also. That's it guys. I will hand you over to them So that's it for this one like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next project. Peace